Hello everyone. Welcome to the Science Stuff. Today we are going to be learning about the new lens law of octaves. So what is this law and who discovered it? Well, let's find out. New lens law was proposed by John Alexander Rayner New Lens, who was a British chemist who worked concerning the periodicity of the elements. He lived during the 19th century and was born in 1837 and died in 1898. So what is the new lens law of octave state? Well, this law states that when the elements are arranged in the order of atomic mass, the first and the eighth element have similar chemical and physical properties. Now at that particular time there were only 56 elements known from hydrogen to thorium. Newland arranged these elements in the increasing order of atomic mass and found that the first and the eighth element shared similar physical and chemical properties. Now if we take sodium to be our first element we get potassium to be our eighth element. Now we already know that they both are alkali metals and they share similar physical and chemical properties hence they do follow the newlands law of octaves Now where does the name law of octaves come from Well let's look at a musical octave in a keyboard We see that the starting note is C and the ending note is also C Now if we look at it from a carnatic music point of view this will be sa and this end will be sa so it will go like sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa and as we see the starting sa and ending sa sound similar sa sa but they are not the same this is why this law is known as the newlands law of octaves Now let's look at the merits to Newland's law of octaves. This classification worked well for lighter elements up to calcium. This classification gave us a relation between the atomic masses and the properties of the elements. This arrangement showed for the first time the periodicity in the physical and chemical properties of the elements. In this case with every eighth element Now what are the demerits to the Newland's law of octaves? Well, one of the demerit was that this law did not work for the heavier elements after calcium. Another demerit was that even though cobalt and nickel had different atomic masses, they were placed in the same box. This was incorrect as they were also placed with chlorine and bromine, which have very different properties from cobalt and nickel. Now iron which had similar properties to cobalt and nickel was placed far away. In fact, there were many other elements which were placed in the same boxes as well with different atomic masses. Another demerit was that noble gases were not known at the time and the discovery of them and other new elements messed up the arrangements. It is important to remember that though Newland's law of octaves was eventually discarded due to the various demerits, Newland's contribution to the systematic classification of elements greatly enabled the Russian chemist Mendeleev to construct his periodic table in 1869, which greatly influenced the modern periodic table. Hence, he does have a major role in the history of science. We have now reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a clearer understanding on Newland's law of octaves. Please like, share and subscribe and comment down below on any doubts you have or the topic you want me to do next. And remember, you're watching the science stuff.